Inflation. Ah, the dreaded price rise threatening to erode our savings. As a consumer, you may already be familiar with the pinch your pockets feel when the price of everything, from cooking oil to cars to everything, starts an upward trajectory. But even traditional investment options, from bank deposits to stock markets, end up internalizing some of the negative effects that come with a sustained price rise. Essentially, when goods and services in an economy become more and more expensive, the purchasing power of its currency automatically declines. That is why investors have been trying to come up with a sure shot vehicle, also known as an inflation hedge, to wait out the choppy waters of price rise. Bitcoin has been touted as one such option. And it is not entirely coincidental that the digital currency was launched in 2009, a time when inflation was a big concern due to the 2008 financial crisis. Bitcoin enthusiasts argue that the token's inbuilt limit of 21 million coins makes it deflationary. This has led to some even calling it digital gold, after the yellow metal that has been long proven inflation hedge. Another argument that is put forward when positioning Bitcoin as a safety net against inflation is its supposed tag as an uncorrelated asset, which means its price is not linked to the alterations of traditional markets. In November 2021, it was calculated that Bitcoin offered an estimated return of 130% during a year when gold could rally a mere 4%. But the dawn of a crypto winter in 2022, coinciding with another era of inflation pangs, calls for a closer scrutiny of these arguments. Data put out by Bloomberg, for one, suggests that Bitcoin's price has more or less moved in tandem with retail inflation in the US, making it not as attractive as some may have argued. Another pitfall of using Bitcoin as an inflation hedge is the overall uncertainty surrounding the digital currency space. Apart from regulatory hurdles, the DLT currency is known to display wide price fluctuations. Seasoned investors remember the 1970s as the worst inflation crisis in modern times. This was when the end of gold standard monetary regime was followed by an oil crisis. Back then, real estate and gold came out as the hedge assets of choice. But today, the IT revolution has sprung up more options that cannot be wholly ignored. So we have a situation where the high-risk, high-return Bitcoin is standing face-to-face -face with the stable and tangible gold and land. A sound investor would dig deep to judiciously weigh their options and try to diversify their portfolio against inflation with the best possible mix. I hope you enjoyed watching our video. For more such updates, keep following our space. See you next time.